So here we go. What I want to do is show you how to find the central angle of this problem. So what we need to do is we need to kind of go through again what exactly everything means here. So we have 75. 75 is going to represent the radius. So I'm going to say r equals 75. And then in this problem, 60 is going to represent my arc length, the, di the distance here from there. So 60 equals my arc length, which is going to be uh, we S, which equals 60. Now, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find here the arc length of, uh, or I'm sorry, the central angle. So there's a formula that we're going to use. And what it says is the arc length is equal to the radius times theta. So if I can determine then what my radius is and my theta, then I can find the arc length. However, we're not trying to find the arc length. We actually already have the arc length with just 60. So if I know 60 and I know now the radius, what is going to be my theta? And remember, when we're talking about theta. That's going to be our measurement of our central angle here. But we're not talking about degrees. We want to say, what is it going to be a measure in radians? So when looking at this, to find the measure of theta, what I need to do is simply just solve for 60. So I'm going to divide by 75 on both sides. And therefore, I have 60 divided by 75 is going to reduce down to 4 fifths equals theta. That means the measure of this angle in radians is equal to 4 divided by 5. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you find uh, the central angle when given the arc length and the radius. Thanks.